guys, it's Laurie. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And I just wanted to thank everyone who has reached out to me and has sent me messages and texts and has checked up on where have I been or how's my hand been. And actually, I just want to let you know that after the last video that I made with my daughter, I went to my doctor and the day after that I went to see a surgeon and the day after that I had surgery on my broken wrist. I actually thought it was just a bad sprain, but I ended up having a plate and nine screws put in my wrist. I haven't yet seen it. I can't imagine that it looks too attractive, but um, I'm hoping to get this soft cast off soon and I'm hoping to kind of get my life back in order. It's been an awful month not to have the use of my hand. I ended up making a little turkey craft that you'll see after I stop talking and uh, it's probably not my best work because I basically just had one hand, but I was just going crazy not doing anything. So the doctor cleared me to use my left hand a little bit. So I went ahead and made this little turkey wreath and I hope you guys really enjoy it. And if you're new to my channel and you're meeting me for the first time, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. Getting started, we need one of the green circular floral wreaths, a brown velvet pumpkin, two and a half inch assorted wire ribbons, fake eyelashes, two wooden pumpkins, brown and orange paint, white paint, a thankful sign, E6000, and some googly eyes. I'm using brown espresso paint and I'm just painting both sides of the wreath, giving them a really good coat. And once you're done, just sit that aside so that it can dry. We're going to paint the stem on the pumpkin so you just need something to protect it against the fabric. I'm using a piece of wax paper. If you wiggle the stem, it actually will separate from the base of the pumpkin. So I just kind of wiggled it and then slipped my wax paper around it. I'm using some orange spice paint and then I'm just making sure that I give the stem a really good coat so that it hides all the brown. Once your stem is dry, just remove the wax paper that was protecting it and the top of the stem will pop back into the pumpkin. I'm using two little wooden pumpkins that I got in a package at the Dollar Tree as the base for the eyes. To give them a circular shape, I'm just gonna cut the stems off. And once I cut the stems off, I'm just going to give the front sides a good coat of white paint. Using my E6000, I'm going to attach both the little pumpkins to each other. So I'm just simply overlapping one side of the pumpkin onto the other. And once they're dry, this is completely optional, but I'm gonna add some little eyelashes onto them. I found these at the Dollar Tree. It's just a simple set of fake eyelashes and they're actually super sticky. So I just peeled them off and then I just placed them on the top of the pumpkin eyes. The eyelashes actually come with a little tube of glue. I didn't seem to need it because the eyelashes themselves were so sticky and they just attached so easily to the painted wood. Once I had them exactly where I wanted them, it was then time to add some eyes. I normally would have painted them on, but this time I'm just going to use some googly eyes and attach them with some of my E6000. Once they dried, I just took a pencil and kind of ran it around the outside layer of the eye just to kind of make it pop a little bit more off of the wood. We're now going to turn our pumpkin into a pilgrim. I'm using two 10 inch pieces of the wired ribbon and I'm using a small snippet of 3 eighths of an inch ribbon. The pumpkin stem is now turning into the beak. So we're just going to make sure that the little stem is pointing upwards and then gluing each piece of the wired ribbon on each side of the pumpkin. 
making it look like the pilgrim has on a little bonnet. I just used a snippet of this orange polka dot ribbon. It's 3 8 inch and then I just attached it to the side ribbons to make it look like it was on her chin. Now that the first piece of the ribbon bonnet is on, I can see where I want to place her eyes. Using my glue gun, I just attach them right above the little beak. Once that was complete, I then added the second piece of my 10 inch ribbon. We're cutting 26 inch lengths of ribbon for the feathers. To make it easier to cut, I cut a 13 inch piece of cardboard. You'll need 14 two and a half inch ribbons for this project. I simply wrapped each of them around my card cutout and then just cut them to size. The fun thing about this project is you can use all the same ribbon or you can mix them up and use different patterns. Once each of the ribbons were cut to size, I then folded them over and dovetailed the ends. I then continued doing this till I had all 14 of my ribbons cut to size and the ends dovetailed. With all the ribbons cut, you're now going to attach them to the floral wreath. Making sure that the dovetailed ends of your ribbon are together, you're simply going to slip the folded end underneath the foam wreath then take the two dovetailed pieces, making sure that you hold them tightly together, and slip them through the little loop, attaching them to this form. And when you turn the wreath over, you can see how it looks a little different on the front than on the back. I then continued following the same instructions for the rest of my ribbons. Once the ribbons are all attached, you can use your glue gun and hot glue them to secure them in place on the back of the wreath. Mine seem to stay pretty tightly in place, so I didn't do this, but if you notice them moving around, you can definitely use your hot glue gun. As you add your ribbons, you can see how they're starting to appear to look like feathers. And once all your feathers are added, we're now going to add the little pilgrim turkey. Finding the bottom center of the wreath, all you're going to do is use your glue gun to attach her. You'll need to hold her in place until the hot glue dries, and I noticed that placing a pair of scissors between her and the form held her tightly in place. Once her head was completely secured, I then just kind of separated each of the ribbons to give the wreath a fuller look. Now using my white paint, I took my metal thankful sign that I got at the Dollar Tree and I gave it two good coats. Once it dried completely, I just centered it in the middle of the wreath and I attached it with my hot glue gun. And now your thankful turkey wreath is complete. Thanks for hanging out with me. You guys know I always have a blast every time you come to my channel and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.